Hello everybody, my name is Super Skrull, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Where we last left off, I just introduced you to my new leveled up EV Train team, and we got here to Silk Company, and I got kind of lost and got into a lot of random encounters that made me frustrated. Anyway, I think I know the way through here now, so without further ado, let us begin. I think you have to go through one of these. The nap lady was there, so you have to go through here. Know that much. Okay, w w I know that much. I just came through here. I'm saying I know where I'm going, and I, I just backtracked. Yeah, that's where you're supposed to go. To level 7 here. And look who it is. It's Mr. Herman. I don't know why I said it like that. Anyway, let's battle Herman, because I think I can take him on. What kept you, Terry? <laughs> I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. Saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. Well, let's see. Let's 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 see, Herman, Mr. Herman, Shiller Jerk. Ooh, look at that. He's got a Pidgeot, and I have the most perfect Pokemon out right now. Defensive and with Ice Beam, and I can't believe I'm faster than his Pidgeot. That means my speed is working out for me. Super effective. You like that? You like that, Herman? You like that? Huh? Yeah, I just like spat ice in, in your uh, Pidgeot's face, but obviously you don't care. And he's got an Execute, huh? Well, good luck with that. I got, I got an Ice Beam. I'm gonna spit some ice back in your face. And look, there's more phases on that Execute. So there, take like... What is that? Six Ice Spit Face things. Alakazam. Okay, I'll switch for this to Jimmy. I like Jimmy because he's a, a very offensive and Psychics are not very defensive and uh, I know my uh, my Nidoking is offensive but he is a poison type so he'll be weak to them. And you got taken down, you have Zam one hit. Yeah, that's how we do it. Charizard, ooh. You already have a fully evolved, do you? Well guess what? I got a glance. Level 40, oh god. I probably won't be able to take him down in one hit. But, unless I get a crit, obviously. But maybe two. Should be fine. Yep, see. I oh, use scary face. Lower my speed. Okay, that's a smart idea. He's, he's, oh, spine throw. He, why does he... Okay, that's... It'll do normal damage to me because... It could kill me. Apparently. That's... Shocking. To say the least. Um... Go oh, Medusa. I hope Medusa's fast enough. No oh, god. This is this is I'm this Oh my god, wow. Alright, oh, okay, I, I I didn't know Okay, that's that guy that works out for me. I wanna start focusing after after we beat this next Oh here it is, okay. Um this will go with my in. After I we beat this um this gym here. I kind of want to start focusing on only training up, not not s s uh, specifically training up uh, my Medusa, but I want to get it to level 55. It will get there, but I want to get it before before I get to Evergrande City. Because, um... I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. I don't know, I, I'm lost in thought. Didn't get much sleep, so... It affects me if I don't get my sleep for multiple days. I mean, it's been a couple days, so... Without a lot of sleep, just a couple hours each day, so... You can see why, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. I enjoy not sleeping, because at least I don't waste the night. I get to do stuff. Anyway. I beat this guy, and his next guy here is very, uh, important. But what I'm gonna do with the I think I'm gonna... Heal up my Pokemon, just... I don't wanna have... A a dead, a dead cloister. That's not allowed. I can't believe Flamethrower took it out. I know it does. Flamethrower does normal damage. Oh, you know why? It's because it does normal damage. It's it's super effective. Not super. Oh my God! What is wrong with me? It's normal damage and super effective. Yeah. No. It does um normal damage. It's got stab. It's a very powerful move. And I have very very bad special defense. That's my only problem. Is so uh, now I know Grass will do normal. Grass will be super effective on me. So. uh so I'm 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 really kind of screwed against Grass and uh, 
fire types because which actually isn't really useful as a water type then because a water ice type because if I go up against grass types then I want to be able to use ice beam and take it down which I can but it's super effective and I have bad defense so saying I, I take on a level 40 Venusaur or something I use razor leaf and I get taken down instantly and likewise when I'm facing a fire type I want to have a water type that's reliable to take it down but right now it's not reliable to take it down but I think it will be once I teach it to move surf now that I'm done with that rant, uh, we can talk to this guy here. Oh hi, you're not a rocket, you came to save us. Why thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. He gives you a Lapras. I don't want to give it a nickname, no. He gives you a Lapras, which is another water type Pokemon. It's got a lot of HP, a, a water, it's a water ice type Pokemon. It's got a lot of HP, it's got pretty good defense. It can learn the move Psychic, I mean. So it's, it's an all around very good Pokemon. And I was going to consider using this, but I want it to be a little bit different. I, I'm still using a water ice type, but mine is not as good. Anyway, Clamp should take this down. Marowak, Clamp should take it down. Drowsy, Clamp should take it down. I assume it's a very powerful move. So was Surf, though. I mean, I, I dare to say Surf is the most powerful water type move in the game. I know Hydro Pump and Hydro Cannon have a much more power, but it's got 95 power and 100 accuracy. So that's ridiculous. Also, I mean, like you got Thunderbolt, which is 95 power, 100 accuracy. Flamethrower, 95 power, 100 accuracy. Ice Beam, 95 power, 100 accuracy. All these moves are amazing if you have if you use them on the right. Okay, so all these moves are good if you use them with the right way. Ah, uh, Terry, so we meet again. The President and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters, or experience a world of pain. Again, this guy with the world of pain and a 10-year-old boy. I mean, seriously, this guy really wants to, to kill somebody or something. Anyway, so we got... He'll send out Nidorino. I'll use Water Pulse on it, even though it's not a ground-type Pokemon. He's got a horn attack, which is okay, because I got crazy defense. I probably should have started off with the uh, uh, spikes, but that's alright. I think I can still take him down without it. Level 43 now, yes, this is good. See, my defense went up by 4, that's amazing. Awesome. Colonel and Spike Cannon. Now, Spike Cannon is a rock type, a rock, no, it's a normal type. Okay. So sharp spikes are fired at the photo strike 2 to 5 times. It's got 25, it's got, only got 20 power and if I had shell uh was a shell link and this or spike I don't know what it's called shell link I think yeah it, it'll do like five times of five hits each time which is technically um a hundred power which is actually a really good move but I don't think I'm gonna learn it because I already have secret power which is 70 and this will minimum do only 40 damage so it's not really worth it. Stop learning yep Rhyhorn, I'll take him down one hit, no problem. Take that Rhyhorn to the face. Um Nidoqueen, Queen, okay. Should be a little bit harder to take down, so I think I'm gonna use the Ice Beam, because Ice Beam will still be super effective. But it does have a ground subtype. Ice Beam is a lot more powerful than Water Pulse. So I'm pretty sure this will take it down. Obviously this is a high level Pokemon 41. I didn't take it down one hit. Okay, so so um, he might heal. He's actually going to heal here. So I'm going to use an Ice Beam again. And I got paralyzed, of course. I'm going to just Ice Beam again. Oh, he didn't use a heal. Okay. I'm not complaining. That's okay. And I got paralyzed. Which gives him time to use another... Oh my god, if this guy uses a healing item while I'm spending, wasting my time with para hacks here. Oh my god. It's supposed to have a 50% chance of hitting 50% chance of being paralyzed. This is not 50%. Can't believe he did not heal up. Heal up. I mean, he got too cocky because oh, critical hit. Wow, now you get the crit. Thanks. Waste of time. LP curse anyone? Kangaskhan. This I do not like. Not one bit. I'm gonna take Medusa out here because I got Rat Dragon Rage, so I don't have to worry about defense stats or anything like that because this will do a fixed amount of damage. So we'll start off with a Thunder Wave, so that it, it gets paralyzed some some of the time. Of course, he uses Fake Out, and I get flinched, but that's okay, because I got my leftovers to heal up some HP. Not a lot, mind you, but it's okay. I'll use Thunder Wave. And 
And of course he uses Mega Punch. This is gonna hurt a little bit. Or a lot. Got my leftovers. If I take one more Mega Punch from him, I'm basically screwed. Dead in the face. So Dragon Rage, please, if you will. This won't do a lot, but because he has a lot of HP, I'm guessing. And he's, he's Rage, of course. Come on, leftovers, King in there. Let's Dragon Rage again, building Rage. Why is he why is he not being affected by the Parahax? Alright, he's down, he's down. Thank you. Kangachan is always hard to beat. I can't I don't like fighting him and Arg, blah blah blah. One lost again. Blast it all, you ruined our plans for self. But Team Rocket will never fail, Terry. Never forget that all Pokemon exist for Team Rocket. I must go, but I shall return. And if you go talk to the as you say Secretary, thank you for rescuing all of us. We from the president down are indebted to you, okay? So, oh dear boy, thank you for saving Silk. I never forgot you saved, I will never forget you save us our moment of, I don't know what he's saying anymore. Scott, I am rich, I can give you anything. Uh, you're showing off to me or something? And he gives you the Master Ball. The only one you can get in any game, and basically it, it catches with a Pokemon without fail. So, that's all we came here for. So I'm going to use an escape rope, even though I have Dig, it really doesn't matter to me. Get out of here. I'm going to heal up my Pokemon, obviously. And now, you can go take on the gym. Which, I will, I will go through the gym right now. And then, uh, I'll leave the gym leader for a second part. I just want to get through this town, because I don't really like Saffron City. It's too industrialized for my taste. I mean, you got a lot of houses here. It, it's all paved on the roads and stuff like that. What does this guy have to do? I flew around my Pidgeot when I read about self. It's already over. I missed the media action. This guy wasn't here before, was he? No. What is Pidgeot saying? Bye, bye, bye. No. B, B, B. I don't know what he's saying. Anyway, I'm going to... So now we can go in here because Team Rocket Run has moved. I mean, you see these, these teleporter pods that teleport you places. And it's, so basically, it's a trick to get through to the um, to the gym leader. So I'm going to cut right now, make sure I know which way to go, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I figured out which way to go now. I, I already knew, but I wanted to make sure I get the fastest possible route. Unlike when I said that in Silphco and I didn't. Anyway, we're in the gym. So you take this teleporter pod here. And then you go, this guy will see me? No, okay, I don't want to battle these trainers, I just don't feel up to it. Anyway, so you take the bottom left. Then you take the bottom left. Then take the top right. So there's a way to skip all these trainers, which is okay. And then you take the bottom left, I believe. Yep. No, what? No, what? Top right, then... Uh, bottom left, isn't it? Left is this side, isn't it? I don't know. Let's just try each direction. Not this one. Now, see, I, I looked it up and I still got it wrong. This is ridiculous. I don't want to battle these guys because there's no point to it. Come on, Sabrina, I can see you right there. Let me just walk through the wall. It'd be awesome if I could, like, had a cheat and I could walk through the walls. I could just walk through all these. I don't. I don't know. Let's let's go back. Let's backtrack a little bit. Let's see if we can figure this out. I think this is the right way now. I, I'm just guessing. I don't even know. I'm just so confused. I thought I had it right too, and I looked it up, and I'm so pissed off that I got it wrong. I must have forgotten what I read. I'm pretty sure it said bottom left. Bottom, bottom left is this one, right? Yeah. Bottom left, bottom left, top right, bottom left is what it said. There you go, okay. I honestly, I, I don't know how I got here. So let's just, let's just continue take on this trainer. I said I was going to wait for the next part, but I didn't battle anybody on the way here. And it's, uh, it's only uh, less than 15 minutes into the recording. So uh, let's do it. I had a vision of your arrival. I had I have had psychic power since I was a child. It started when I had a spoon I carried to toss bent. I just like battling, but if you wish I will show you my powers. 
in the anime, this girl actually doesn't talk. It's kind of creepy. She has this, this little girl doll thing that she holds that talks for her. It's really creepy. What just happened? I hit the wrong button and something happened. I don't know. Let's just get into it. Level 38 Kadabra. Clamps go up there and teach it a lesson. I'm going to send out spikes to begin with. Just You'll see why. So Calm Mind will raise his special attack. And special defense, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. So I'm going to use a physical attack, obviously. I'm not going to use special on, on this gym because... Ooh, I take it down one hit. Not bad. So now we'll send out Mr. Mime. I don't want to have this because... It, I don't want to have Cloyster because it does no magical leaf. I'm going to send out Jimmy. And if you'll take a look, when it comes out, it'll take damage because of the spikes. Yep, see? Hurt by spikes. So I'm going to use a couple swords, uh, two, uh, no, I think one sword dance should be sufficient. No, I'll, I'll, I'll do two though, just to be sure. Okay, Calm Mind, that really won't help you, I'm going to use another one then. I was thinking about using Double Team, that's really a cheap move honestly, but if you spam Double Team just like most Pikachus do, Side Beam, oh god, this could hurt. Oh, not that much, okay. So we'll slash you in the face, this should, uh, yeah, that'll take you down. Venomoth. Venomoth is a poison? I want to say bug poison, but I'm not entirely sure. I love how it's flying, but it still takes damage from spikes on the ground, because it's not actually a flying type. Slash should take it out, but maybe not. Okay, no good. The last Pokemon is a level 43, to my knowledge, is a level 43 Alakazam, yes. I think I'm going to let Jimmy handle this. I think he can handle it. I'm hoping Slash gets a crit now, because it's supposed to. He has a high critical hit ratio, so I don't know. Yes, I took it down one hit. This was a really easy gym, then. This normally is a really challenging gym for me, but, but with these Pokemon, I can do anything. I can, I can, I can, I can do anything. I can, I can run across water. I can fly through the airs. And literally, I can do that with the Fly HM and the Surf HM. Anyway, I admit, I didn't work hard enough to win. Your victory has earned you the Marsh Badge. Got $4,300. Not bad. The March Badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. Stronger Pokemon will become wild, ignoring your orders in battle. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much to avoid that problem. Wait, wait, please take this TM with you. This is Calm Mind, I believe, which is a really good move. It raises your special attack and special defense. And I think I will teach this to my Mr. Mime. I just want to get the Surf HM, honestly. Where'd it go? What move did it give me? Oh, Calm Mind, there it is, okay. So I'm going to teach that to... Mimeon, not that I can teach it to anyone else, because no one else can learn it. And I'm going to get rid of... I'm going to get rid of Barrier, I don't really see myself using it that much. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to put this guy out against... Actually, no, never mind. I will. It doesn't matter. What else moves can I use? Light Screen... Safeguard, Frustration, Return, Shadow Ball, Reflect. Okay, no, I'm not going to use any of these moves. Not yet. What am I doing? Let me just see if I can... Can I dig myself out of here? Yep. So if you have a dig, that helps you out a lot. You don't have to go through that again. And so I'm going to... Peel up my Pokemon. Wow. Um, I was kind of considering, I found, I did find a way, I was meant to tell you guys, I did find a way to actually do an in-game save, that way I'll be able to cover things that are after the Elite Four. I don't really want to cover anything that's after the Elite Four, just because that's, it's not really important. It's nothing big, I mean, you get to take down Team Rocket a little bit more, but it's nothing big. And, um, and I also can take down the Elite Four twice, they, they go back there after I take them down once, and, and then they're more powerful, and I kind of wanted to do that with you guys, but the thing is, the only way I'll be able to in-game save if I start a new game. So I was kind of considering, like, uh, getting to the Elite Four, then starting a new game, using a bunch of cheats to get all the Pokemon back that I had. I'll get the gym badges back and everything like that with cheats. And then I'll be able to take on the Elite Four, use an in-game save, and take them on again with the exact same Pokemon, basically. All I have to do is I'll get the Pokemon back, I'll give them back all the moves they had, if I can, and then I'll, uh, I'll EV train them, because they won't be EV trained. And then I'll, uh... 
that'll be incorporated with my off-screen training, which I will end up doing somehow because I will uh, want to have level high, high level Pokemon to take it on second time, and then I'll take it on, I'll finish, and I'll take it on again. But tell me how you guys think feel about this because I really don't want to go through all that work of like cheating all the Pokemon in, cheating all their moves, then going through all EV training again. So I might just consider just doing um one go through of the elite four and then finishing the lp because because they I mean it's the same pokemon it's just higher level there's nothing special to it there's nothing worth seeing through it i'm probably going to speed it up anyway so uh, you know what unless you guys want to see me battle the elite four again then i'm not going to do it i'm just going to go through the elite four once finish the game anyway that's all i have to say i uh comment below if you guys have any opinions on this don't forget to like the video if you liked it. If you if you didn't like it, don't just like the video. Don't give me a thumbs down or anything like that. Just explain to me in the comments or send me a PM saying why you didn't like it. So I can help myself out, help you out, and make every, this enjoyable for everybody. Because I certainly do enjoy doing LPs. I hope you guys enjoy watching them. And we'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red.